uh, terminal characteristics uh, are the plot of terminal quantities for shunt DC generator terminal quantities are the terminal voltage and the load current so terminal characteristics is plot of load current versus the terminal voltage terminal characteristics of shunt DC generators are different from the terminal characteristics of separately excited DC generators uh, what we can see is that in case of uh, shunt DC generators our major current IA that is the sum of field current and load current and we also remember that terminal voltage is related with generated voltage by this relation Vt is equal to the generated voltage minus the voltage drop across the resistance of armature winding so what will happen uh, to the terminal voltage if we increase the load current so if load current is increased armature current will also increase and increase in armature current will result into decrease in the terminal voltage this terminal voltage will decrease and we also know that uh, this field current is given by the terminal voltage divided by field resistance so as terminal voltage decreases IF will also decrease and due to decrease in IF EA will decrease because EA is equal to K phi into omega due to decrease in IF flux will decrease and due to that EA will decrease decrease in EA will result into further decrease in the terminal voltage so due to increase in load current there is decrease in the terminal voltage this decrease is more significant uh, than the case for separately excited DC generators because for the case of separately excited DC generators increase in load current uh, that was increase in the armature current that resulted into decrease in the terminal voltage however this effect this effect was not there in case of separately excited DC generators so if we plot the terminal characteristics of shunt DC generators there is uh, effect of uh, this thing IA RA drop and there is another effect this effect is called field weakening effect so in shunt DC generators there are two effects this drop and field weakening effects so these are the terminal characteristics of uh, shunt DC generators uh, you remember uh, the terminal characteristics of a separately excited DC generators uh, were like this one there was only one effect this voltage drop uh, so IA RA this was the only effect in separately excited DC generators over here there are two effects this drop and field weakening effect so as far as uh, terminal characteristics of shunt DC generators are concerned these are worse compared to the separately excited DC generator the fall in the terminal voltage is more uh, quicker uh, in case of shunt DC generators with increase in load uh, compared to the separately excited DC generators uh, how we can control the terminal voltage of uh, shunt DC generators uh, so so for a given load how we can control the terminal voltage of a shunt DC generator uh, we can control the uh, generated voltage and we remember that there were two possibilities to control the generated voltage that is by uh, changing the speed of rotation uh, so that is one possibility however uh, for most of the cases speed uh, of the prime mover which determines the speed of the rotor of the generator that uh, we cannot have much variations in that speed therefore this approach is less frequently used the second approach is by changing uh, the flux in the machine this flux in the machine uh, can be changed by uh, changing the field resistance increasing RF will result into decrease in field current and that will in turn result into decrease in uh, the flux uh, and hence decrease in 
this generated voltage and that will in turn result into decrease in terminal voltage and vice versa decreasing RF will result into increase in flux increase in EA and hence increase in VT so we can control the terminal voltage of shunt DC generators by changing the field resistor that is why we insert a variable resistor in series with the field uh, winding so that we can have a control on the terminal voltage uh, so we have talked about uh, separately excited DC generators and shunt DC generators if we get time at the end of this course we shall also talk about series DC generators and compounded DC generators